Alright, so if you play League, you'll know the friendly tree man Ivan. For most of his six year long history, he's been a pretty niche pick, but recently, a lot of content creators have been like this about him. Riot way over buffed Ivan for this patch. That's what not fair. It's they broke him, they overtuned him. Ivan, 53.36% win rate, the rank one jungler. The new Ivan is free low in three different lanes. I'm not gonna lie, I've been absolutely abusing him in rank recently he's been my main for years now so let's talk about how exactly riot broke him and whether the recent nerfs to him are enough to kill the monster they've created Before we get into it, I want to let you know we've just released a video covering all of the hype from this year's Snapdragon Mobile Masters. Thanks to our friends over at Snapdragon Elite Gaming for bringing us all the way to Japan to experience this incredible tournament where we witnessed one of the greatest underdog runs in Brawl Stars history. Check out the video in the link below. All right, so I have been a fan of Ivan for years now. I even have a custom made picture of him framed on my wall right there. Yeah, I know, that's some, some real nerdy right there. I always found him unique and fun to play, but it's been quite a while since I've been able to call him strong, until this month. Because this month, Ivan's been busted. Out of the 46 junglers on OP.GG, he's had an eye-watering 53.41% win rate, second among all junglers. Now, if you've been away from the game for a while, you might find that quite surprising to see. Most other popular and strong junglers right now are hard-hitting assassins and fighters like Kha'Zix, Rek'Sai, Kindred, Rengar, champions that will famously f your sh up. In comparison, Ivan is a support champion at heart. He can root enemies and knock them up with his ultimate, Daisy, while shielding his allies and creating brushes for them. His whole kit is designed to empower his team, but never to be the one who actually 1v9s games himself. But that is exactly what's been happening this month. So what changed? Well, in patch 13.10, Ivan was lingering among the worst junglers in the entire game, sitting at a 49% win rate with a less than 1% pick rate. He was extremely down bad after the item rework and durability changes and he looks set for another slap in the face when Riot introduced buff sharing for all champions. The ability to create a second blue or red buff for an ally has historically been a unique mechanic of Ivan's. It was never a game changer but it definitely made him a more appealing teammate because of it. And so to compensate for this loss of exclusivity on Ivan and the fact that they delayed his planned mid scope rework, Riot buffed his kit across the board in patch 13.11. His Q made it easier to choose between following it into melee or range distance, and its cooldown was reduced by 50% when used on non-epic monsters. His brushes were changed to last longer and also buff allies auto attacks. His shield's duration is now renewed if it isn't broken or doesn't damage an enemy, and his ultimate, Daisy, got a slew of buffs to her, including increased attack range, movement speed, and attack speed. Is he attack range 125 to 175k? Daisy, HP real finally finally bro holy now these buffs were strong by themselves, but it was their synergy with items and runes that really pushed Ivan into full-blown brokenness. Because one thing that wasn't really mentioned in the patch notes is that Daisy now applies on-hit effects. So people quickly started running Press the Attack, Nash's Tooth, Rylai's Crystal Scepter, because all of their on-hit effects are now granted to Daisy as well. This turned her into essentially a sixth teammate. Not only is she faster and stronger thanks to the buffs, but her ability to utilize on hit effects means that enemies can't ignore her and even if they do try and fight her she'll still probably just f them up it's a lose-lose situation for the enemy team all of this while ivan just sits back and continuously shields daisy for days on end and if the enemy does get wise and decides to focus ivan instead he just shields himself hits him with a q and pieces out this incredibly safe yet oppressive gameplay has even opened up new role opportunities for ivan in the past you were basically trolling if you played him outside of jungle or support and even support was questionable but with these buffs he quickly became viable in mid and top where he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lot of champions pre-level 6 and then just bully them out of lane with the help of Daisy. I've even seen people pulling him off as an AD carry. I repeat, Ivan, AD carry. This is not a drill. Now, despite how absolutely broken all of this is, he's still not been picked or banned as much as you'd expect of a champion with his win rate. Why is this? Well, even though Ivan has been really strong this month, 
he's still Ivan, and I'll be the first to admit he does have a very unique style of gameplay. Those who find him fun, like me, love that about him. I love microing Daisy, using her as a sort of shield bomb delivery system and positioning her for the perfect knockup. I love his unique farming system, which allows for interesting jungle pathing and cheeky invades. But some people find all that just too different to the champions that they're used to, and may even find Ivan boring as a result. Now, personally, I think that shows a bit of a lack of imagination, but obviously, I'm quite biased myself. A lot of people, including Ivan Mains like myself, were expecting the nerfs to come at some point and come they did with yesterday's release of Patch 13.13. The bonus on hit damage from his brushes took a hit as well as Daisy's movement speed and base damage. Now on the surface, I don't really think these nerfs are too devastating. They'll definitely take him down a peg, but I don't see any nerf to those absolutely overpowered on hit effects we talked about earlier. I jumped into the practice tool today and Daisy still proc Nash's tooth and press the attack, which is a sizable reason as to why people felt Ivan has been so strong recently. And not to mention, there's been no nerfs to his jungle clearing. I don't think many people realize that Ivan can do a one smite, level four, full first clear before three minutes. These nerfs obviously don't affect that. I still think Ivan is going to be decently strong this patch. I think Riot are hesitant to nerf him into the ground because they feel bad that their mid scope rework for him has been delayed. So so Ivan players have a little bit more time perhaps to take advantage of Riot's guilt, and by Ivan players I mean me, obviously me, definitely me. I'll see whether or not these nerfs have successfully killed the monster, and I'll see you all in the next one. One of our co-workers who will not be named joked that the reason people aren't playing Ivan is because he's boring. So people play like two games with him and they go, what the hell's this? I don't know what's going on. He's boring. And it's like, nah, you get out of Ivan what you put into Ivan. You put two games in, you're not gonna get anything out of him. You put two years in and it starts to get fun. <laughs>